Today I'm going to show you how you can create your own drum rack with Logic X Drum Machine Designer. I use both Ableton Live and Logic depending on my creative flow, but sometimes I'm working in Logic while I need the tool from Ableton Live or vice versa. Today I'm going to show you how you can create something like Ableton Live Drum Rack with Logic X Drum Machine Designer. All right, let's jump into the Logic and create a new track. I'm gonna go with empty channel strip. I'm gonna go to instrument and down here, Drum Machine Designer. Awesome. So as you see, it opens up a default kit, which is nice, but I'm going to change the kit. So if you wanna change the kit, you should click on this upper bar here, and then it will show you all the kits you have. So I'm gonna go over some of the kits. Hmm, I love this one. Yeah, it has a nice industrial big kick. Cool. All right, now that I'm happy with the general sounding of this kit, I can now go deeper and customize it. Actually, I'm gonna create a simple beat. So when I'm changing the sounds, I can hear the differences. So let's start with the kick. It's nice. As you see, when I'm clicking on each sound, it opens a menu here, which basically has different knobs, and these knobs are assigned to effects or plugins to each track. For example, when I'm changing, for example, the body here, let me show you. Okay, when I'm changing the body, I'm basically changing the gain of this frequency. So for this kick, I'm happy with the sound, but let's turn the pitch up a bit. Cool. And then add body to it. And more presence so it comes out from the mix. Cool. Let's jump into the snare. Let's say I'm not happy with this snare at all. I want to change it to a different sound. You can do it. When you click on each of these tiles, it opens up different options you have for that specific sound. And basically I can choose a different snare from a different kit. Mm, remember this one was good? Oh, this one. Yeah, I love it. It has a kind of an 80s retro sound. I'm happy with the sound, but it's a little bit dry. Uh, maybe we can add a reverb on it. So one cool thing you can do, you can add effects on each track individually. And this is so cool. So let me show you here. In the mixer, each track has its own individual output. So you can turn the volume up and down, you can add effects and many things. So let's add a reverb on this snare. Too big. And maybe it's better to hear it with others. Cool. 
Another cool feature of Drum Machine Designer is that you can actually drag your own samples. And it's pretty simple. Just go to your samples and simply drag them to, to the tile. Basically replace it with this clap sound. Turn down the volume a bit. Let's listen to it. Cool. As you see, when I'm adding my own sample, um, it automatically defines different knobs and like default effects to it. And this is cool because now I can like, change my even my own samples, EQ, or adding my own effects to it. So let's cut the low frequency a bit to make more room for the bass. And also I would like to add a delay on it. Tap delay. All right, we are pretty much done with this drum. The last thing but not least you want to do is to save your kit. You should be clicking on this upper bar here and then hit save. Let's call it Kukaj retro, kind of retro drum. Awesome. Okay, we are almost done. This. It's funny, I just wanted to create a tutorial, but this sound inspires me to add more like synth sound and bass and create a whole beat out of it. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video and find it useful. Leave me a comment if you have any questions or feedback. See you later.